Gen 2 LBEU 3 to 6K installation. Gen 2 3 to 6K power solutions. We suggest you take a moment to read the user manual before the installation. The wall mounted bracket is pre installed on the back of the inverter at the factory. Please unscrew the safety screw locked into the wall mount below the side and remove the wall mount installed on the device. Machine operating environment temperature range, minus 25 to 60 degrees Celsius. Altitude, below 2 kilometers. Place the inverter on a well-shaded site to protect it from the direct sunlight, rain and snow, etc. Mount the inverter on a wall at an angle of 75 to 90 degrees to the ground, ensuring the display screen is positioned at eye level for optimal visibility. For parallel systems, please maintain the minimum clearances presented below for adequate heat dissipation. The inverter is a wall mounting type. Two people may be needed to install the inverter due to its weight. Place the mounting bracket upright. The bottom of the bracket should be 2.5 inches higher than the eyesight level. Mark the drill hole positions with the mounting bracket, then drill 4 8 mm, 5 16 inch, diameter holes, making sure the depth of the holes is deeper than 50 mm, 2 inches. Install and tighten the expansion bolts into the holes. Then use the corresponding nuts and washers, packaged together with the expansion bolts, to install and fix the wall mounting bracket on the wall. Hang the inverter onto the wall mounting bracket and lock the inverter on the wall using one hex socket countersunk screw screwed onto the right side of the heatsink. Open the lower cover of the inverter. A sheet following shows the adequate power cable. Step 1. Open the wiring compartment cover. Strip 0.47 to 0.55 inch, 12 to 14 millimeters, of insulation from the cable ends and crimp cable lugs onto the ends of the cables. Step 2. Route the battery cables with crimped terminals through the cable gland and into the wiring compartment. Connect the positive cable to BAT plus and the negative cable to BAT dash. Step 3. Fasten the OT terminals of the battery's positive and negative cables to the corresponding lugs according to the polarity markings. Step 4. Ensure the cable gland is tightened securely to achieve proper waterproof sealing. Refer to the sheet for adequate cable selection. Turn off or disconnect the PV switch, DC switch. Then keep this switch always open during the connection. Assemble the PV connector. Strip 6 to 8 mm insulation from the cable end. Assemble the cable ends to crimp contacts. After confirming that the PV connector is secure, Insert the prepared PV positive and PV negative connectors into the corresponding PV positive and PV negative ports on the inverter. Press them in firmly by hand until you hear or feel a click indicating a proper connection. The following sheet shows the cable requirement. Step 1. Strip approximately 0.39 to 0.47 inch, 10 to 12 millimeters, of insulation from the end of each cable and crimp tubular cable lugs. Step 2. Open the wiring compartment and loosen the cable gland. Route the cables through the openings of the cable gland. Step 3. 
refer to the labels inside the wiring compartment and connect the cables to the correct terminals accordingly. Step 4. Tighten the screws above the terminals to ensure the cables are securely connected. Step 5. Tighten the cable gland to ensure proper waterproof sealing. Note, do not remove the rubber plugs from any unused cable gland openings, as this may compromise the waterproof performance. Notice, install an AC circuit breaker, AC switch, between the inverter and the grid. Before connecting the AC cable from the inverter to the AC circuit breaker, ensure the AC circuit breaker is functioning properly. Close the AC circuit breaker and leave it in the open position. Connect the PE conductor to the grounding pole, and connect the N and L conductors to the AC circuit breaker. Step 1. Strip approximately 0.39 to 0.47 inch, 10 to 12 millimeters, of insulation from the end of each cable and crimp tubular cable lugs. Step 2. Open the wiring compartment and loosen the cable gland. Route the cables through the openings of the cable gland. Step 3. Refer to the labels inside the wiring compartment and connect the cables to the correct terminals accordingly. Step 4. Tighten the screws above the terminals to ensure the cables are securely connected. Step 5. Tighten the cable gland to ensure proper waterproof sealing. Notice, install a separate single-phase circuit breaker or other load disconnection device for each inverter to ensure safe disconnection under load. The inverter features residual current detection and protection functions. If the inverter must be equipped with an AC circuit breaker with residual current detection capability, an AC circuit breaker with a rated residual current greater than 300 mA must be selected. Step 1. Strip approximately 0.39 to 0.47 inch 10 to 12 mm, of insulation from the end of each cable and crimp tubular cable lugs. Step 2. Open the wiring compartment and loosen the cable gland. Route the cables through the openings of the cable gland. Step 3. Refer to the labels inside the wiring compartment and connect the cables to the correct terminals accordingly. Step 4. Tighten the screws above the terminals to ensure the cables are securely connected. Step 5. Tighten the cable gland to ensure proper waterproof sealing. The generator start signal shall be connected to the COM board Gen Nominal Open, N01 and C01, port if users want to start the generator remotely. The specific wiring operations will be demonstrated in the communication section. Notice, the generator capacity should be larger than 6 kilowatts. Step 1. Disassemble the port cover and take out the rubber cylinders. Step 2. Route the cables through the cable seal and make sure the battery communication cable is routed to the IN beacon side. Step 4. Plug in the CT and battery communication cable. Connect to the dry contact terminal for remote start. Step 3. After introducing the accessories, withdraw the rubber plug, then squeeze the battery and CT communication cable and dry contact wires into it. Step 5. Tighten the cable gland to ensure proper waterproof sealing. Clamp the CT's sensing port or meter onto the service entrance inside or near the main service panel. We provide one CT per inverter as standard to measure the power input from an output to the grid. Clamp the CT onto the live wire and ensure the CT arrow points toward the inverter. For port grounding, Gen 26K supports shell grounding. Connecting the PE line to the shell port can ensure good device grounding. Plug in and then secure all screws of the dongle. Please refer to the next section on dongle network configuration for setup. All connections are complete. Warning: Please double check the polarity of the wires to prevent miswiring. We suggest turning on the inverter switch and EPS switch to test the off-grid output, then turning on the breaker on the grid side if it is normal. Install the guardrail barrier. After the installation, you will be able to set the inverter on the LCD. Set the PV connection type. This wiring method is more flexible and can operate in different PV environments. This connection method can be connected to pre-connected PV and save costs when the inverter is far away from the PV. Attention! 
When using this connect way, the specifications, model, and quantities of the PV panels are required to be identical. Set the battery type. You can monitor the inverter by configuring the dongle and registering an account using a mobile app. Use your smartphone to scan the QR code to download the Lux Power app. Use your mobile device to connect to the Wi-Fi named by the dongle SN number. Open the Lux Power app. Click the dongle connect button. Input the account and password of the Wi-Fi that you want to join. Click the home Wi-Fi connect button. If there is no Wi-Fi available on site or the correct Wi-Fi name cannot be found in the drop-down list, you can manually enter the Wi-Fi account name and password. After the setup is successful, the dongle will continuously attempt to connect to the entered Wi-Fi name until the connection is successful. Android phones can use a Bluetooth configuration dongle by following these methods. Click Set with Bluetooth. Find your dongle SN and click on it. Enter the Wi-Fi name and password. Click on Home Wi-Fi Connect. Open Lux app. Click on Register. Fill the form according to your personal information. The star sign means the necessary information. The installation code is provided by the installer or distributor. The SN code and PIN code can be found on the body of the dongle. Log into your account, and then start exploring your own energy system. The basic installation and network configuration steps have been demonstrated. If you encounter any issues during the installation process, please feel free to contact us.